Okay. One more. One more contract. Let's go do the dragon. Hmm. Yeah, let's go get the dragon. There's another quest there if we don't get a lot of XP from that, but I mean, given the XP we've gotten so far, should be fine with the, the dragon quest. Turns out they spoke the truth about you. Lonesome. Yeah, no, he wasn't by his lonesome. There were a bunch of us there, actually. Foreigner, watch your step. I'll watch my step, but I'm a witcher. I'm, I'm here to help. A witcher! <coughs> Pray be praised. Witcher! Help! <coughs> and? Then what? Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me. Me and my comrade. We'll gut the fucker. Aye, but not us. The Witcher. Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard you shat yourself and sore specters. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shan't let us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. Uh, who are you? You from Pharaoh? Come a long way. That just happened. Came to Fairsdale to trade a load of hides from Svorlag. Svorlag? Thought you were from Pharaoh. Svorlag's on Speakerog. Uh, ah, uh, well, you see, first I sailed from Pharaoh to Svorlag. Traded some loot from the continent for hides there, then came here. Pharaoh to Speakerog to Ard Skellig. <laughs> Roundabout journey. I hadn't much choice, had I? A merchant sails where the trade's good, not where it's close at hand. Hmm. Why don't you want the locals' help? That hunter, could he be right? Maybe it was just wolves. I knows what I saw. Besides, who's he to say? Those drum and blaggards don't know shite from shoelaces. That particular blaggard was wearing on crate colors. You sure about that? Sure than sure. Ugh, doesn't matter. That lot's not to be trusted either. Monsters attacked me. I need a witcher, not some hunter. What? What's this about? You tell me. You're awful suspicious. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate were on our way here to Fearsdale with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle, I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekooks. No doubt about it. Nekooks? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Neckers? Yeah, Neckers. Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? If we're near 20 of them, you wouldn't be alive. That road needs to be clear. Aim to travel it again soon. 
I'll help. I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drumdund. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, Witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Something's off of where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, oh I, I, um, here. I mean, in, in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. The favor Lady Bran did for our son sure did bear a high price. I don't think that's, uh, the Dragon Quest. Well, I mean, if we can do a 28, we can do a 29. Mighty warrior. Hey! Yo! You know, one of these days I'm gonna have to learn how to properly uh, ride a horse in this game. I can do all the racing. The wagon. Need to look around. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Gashes like claw marks in its flanks. But it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus. Yeah, something's definitely off here. What the? That was close. Something tells me that was no accident. Better investigate. You gonna let me examine a the rock there, game? I mean, it's red. It, I should be able to examine it. Hmm. Okay, Witcher GPS, I'll follow you. Furrow looks fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. Started here. I think I see some tracks. Necker tracks. Clear prints. Well, we better put some necrophage oil on then. Maybe some beast oil, because we're likely to run into wolves and bears out here. Tracks.
Try this again. Follow the tracks. Come on, cop. You can follow tracks. Oh, I went this cave. What's going on here? Hmm. Before I go any further, let's meditate for an hour. And put some cat on. Okay. That was an arachnid of some kind. I'm not happy. Not a happy man. That was that's not a necker, and I had necker oil on. Good. More of them. These ones look even more like spiders. Great. Great. These are well loot. Let's have a bite to eat. Follow these necker tracks a little bit more. Usually when you go off the beaten path in this game, there's at least some kind of treasure. A necker's foot, hollowed out inside like a boot. Someone lost it while running. The plot mm. thickens. Does indeed. Somebody's setting Geralt up. Necker paw and a human foot? Small like a child's. Clearly running. I mean, I remember those kids and, and that, that stole chickens from that granny's farm. Like, they were using wolf paws, but Necker paws? I don't know that a, that a group of kids could do that, and even if they could. Why set Geralt up? 
Let's go down first. Let's make sure there's no treasure. This feels like a monster's lair, like... This feels like a place where, you know, you'd get, like, ghosts and stuff. You think it's a ghost setting Geralt up? No, that, that's not ghost behavior. Trail ends here. Who would think to hang drawings in a place like this? Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. Huh. Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These balls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. <laughs> Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. Yeah, I mean... It's definitely some kind of monster. And it's intelligent enough to plan stuff like this. Okay. It's in the AM, so we should meditate. Refresh our potions. Clear the blinding flash that is cat. Well, we did find some neckers. But I don't think it was the neckers. Like, that's not necker behavior. Neckers don't plan stuff out. They attack in, in large groups and kill you that way. Going the right way? I guess I am. Just want to check something. Oof. We should uh, repair our sword and armor stuff before we go. Take it to max. Yeah. 
Yeah, none of that needs repairing. I don't know what kind of oil to put on. I really don't. Um, I guess necrophage oil? I don't know. This doesn't feel like a necker. our sword away. Whoever did this is intelligent. I'm assuming I can talk to them. Night. Well, then, let's just meditate until night. Um, let's go 9 p.m. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. A troll, a godling, and... A changeling? Hmm. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, and we're up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Lichy thingy no gum gum. The bounding lichy thingy swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh, really? Fact is, I could just turn around and... Bloody told! Glitchy thingy, gum gum, shucky, wolf, wolf, man. I wonder why he's not already and in a werewolf. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So glitchy thingy, us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer. Like the rest of them. Like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A Doppler. But this Witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena, the Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire? He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Help monsters on lots of occasions. Arena killed many just did kill a troll. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Oh. Yeah, all of these. Um. I let Salma go. Salma, a succubus in Novigrad. Let her go free, even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean, even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason, yeah, sometimes. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. 
I spared the trolls living near Kaer Morhen. I, I could have killed them very easily. We're two of Some us. Some trolls live in a mountain pass near Kaer Morhen. Know them? Poldy must. Looks like their brother. Last time I was there, they were begging for a beating. My friend wanted to kill them. I talked him out of it. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. <sighs> I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. Group. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared. You know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher! A kind witcher! A lying witcher! He fiends at all! All humans lie! They don't consider me human. Let it rest! This is not the way! You shan't bring Adalia back! Ah, stay here! I'll finish this alone! Look, I don't want to kill you. Let me just put some werewolf oil on and maybe I can... What is this werewolf oil? What is it? Hybrid? Relics. Cursed? Let's do cursed oil. Maybe that's the right. I don't know. But I can find out. Oh, anyway. oh that bugs me. Cursed one. Werewolves! First oil, Igni. Don't want to kill you. A poison from my oil killed him. You were right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. That's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us. So you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous? Thanks. Thanks, my godling friend. Necker hide boots. Is that an... Ah, I did get to level 26. Let's have a look at Necker hide boots. I mean, I can't wear them yet. Level 
All right, I'm going to take a quick cut. I will go and craft the superior uh, grip and stuff. And then we will continue our brother in arms. Head to the Isle of the Mists. I'll be right back. All right, so I went, got my superior grip and armor and swords, and I upgraded the woven ones to superior so that when I hit 29, I can put those on, because I like being in woven gear. It's just something very, very lore-esque about it, you know? And I am going to run up towards Vermeer, because we've got three more people to recruit. And then we can head to the Isle of the Mists. Somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Great, that's where we crowned the Queen of the Isles. Heard of <laughs> and this is where Ermion should be. I guess we go inside to get to talk to Ermian. Hello, Ermian. Can we talk? Any thoughts on Skellige's new ruler? What do the druids think of Skellige's new ruler? On great blood is good blood. Yet Ceres is the first woman to rule Skellige. Ever. Not everyone's pleased. There are seven clans in Skellige. Each would like a king from their own line, but Ceres will manage. She's not as impulsive as Shalmar. Thinks first, then acts. With Krach as her advisor, she has every chance to be a good queen. Yeah, I should probably let you know what happened on Hindersfjall. Yen and I went to Hindersfjall. Oh? Did you learn anything? Ciri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape, but the villagers... I know. You needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you'll find her soon. I'm going to need your help with the wild hunt, buddy. The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. The Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. Oh, I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen. Good old Uncle Ermian. Alright. Next. Uh, let's go to Croc next. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Croc and Ceres are, you know, both in the same place, so... We'll go to the bridge to care trolled. Talk to Croc first.
Sid's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what the You're severed. Where are you going? Forget it. Are you serious? Why not? Ooh. Watch it. If you kick Lugos the fuck in, I'm not down to repair. These commas strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Hmm. As usual, I went the Last wrong way. way. I want to talk to Croc first because I've known him longer. Just in case Ceres can't actually spare any troops, being, you know, the Queen of Skellia, and very recent one at that. At the very least. Maybe Croc will send his son with us. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. Yeah, let's go through all this. What's the situation in the Isles? What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. Anything new on the massacre during the feast? The massacre during the feast? Know anything new? Thanks to you and Ceres, we know who's responsible. It's enough for me. Not gonna try to capture the Berserkers? They were but tools, Wolf. I'd rather sever the hand that wields the sword than merely break steel. What are your thoughts on Queen Ceres? Your daughter. First woman to rule Skellige. She'll be a good queen. Knows what she wants. Yeah? So what does she want? To unite all of Skellige's clans. A difficult task. No one has ever managed it. But Ceres is stubborn. Thinking long term, then. Think she'll succeed? She's got a powerful ally in me. Listen, buddy, um, the wild hunt is coming for Ciri at Kaer Morhen. Could use a hand. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Ciri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the wild hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now Wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Mentioned Nilfgaard? What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail. Staring right back. Yeah, you already said that. We've yet to capture any of their crew. And that. But only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not. We'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> City will be safe in Kaer Trold. Yeah, about that, we can only really fight them at Kaer Morhen. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen. We fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland Uncrate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, 
tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. I mean, it's probably nowhere near as good as the, the superior Griffin ones I've got. I can't accept this, buddy. It's too much. I can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much, at least. If you insist. Thank you. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Have a look at Winter's Blade. It's, I mean, it's got a 10% chance to freeze, and that's... It's worth a few gold. <laughs> I can't sell it. <laughs> Oh, much less damage, though. And it's a steel sword. Which I don't think is going to be much use against Wraiths. Let's, uh... Let's talk to Ceres, the queen. Who's this? Hmm. You're pale. You drink last night too? Well, well. Geralt's the ice Respect, giant Witcher. Killer. Okay, how do I get to Ceres? Something I've always wondered. What'll you Witchers do once there are no basilisks, lesions, or giants around? Eh? Retire. We join in the raid or no? Maybe she's upstairs? Your ass with honey yet yeah, she upstairs. Good one. Your Majesty? Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come on, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. Everyone's mourning King Bran's death. Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. So, how does it feel to rule Skellige? How's it feel to rule? Jarl's giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. They seem to believe in me. Besides Lugos, of course. Tried talking to him? Could still win him over. I don't know about that. He's more mule-headed than my father, but I'll try, of course. Wild Hunt is coming to care of Morhen. Uh, I could really use some, some men. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crox mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior. Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. <laughs> Good luck. 
Oh, I hope her brother doesn't die in the, in the assault. Uh, that would that would be unfortunate. Brock would never forgive me. Hey, Elmar. Ah, Geralt. How are things? You and Siri grew up together. You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. <laughs> and then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us. Both. Any thought of continuing with that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. You, you probably have very similar tastes in partners, let me just put it to you that way. Planning another voyage? Perhaps to care more, Hen? Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were going to help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. Um, I get this fight coming, and you like to fight, so want to hit the Kaer Morhen? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Well, we have, okay, there's nothing there that I really want to do, get your contracts, I mean, I could do these two, but Last time I went to do Dragon, I got sidetracked, so we're not going to do that. We're going to get on a boat. I mean, there's no one around. I could really use some loot. I wonder what's in here. No. no I, I will respect the Oncrates. They're helping me defend Kaer Morhan. Cut his punch open, ah, pulled out his guts, and made him run around a tree till he ran out. A guts. Till he shot himself! <laughs> Continental dandies come a strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Priestess is a terrible cross with you. You and the sorceress both. Yeah, wasn't intentional. Got one word. My girlfriend Yennefer, she uh I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, nations, or giants? May your axe never crumble. I don't know. I don't use an axe, but I appreciate the thought. Fast travel. Care troll the harbor. Once in the last game. Okay. I'm gonna borrow one of y'all's boats. I don't think he'll be back with it. Just to let you know. And we are going to actually do a save. Because... Where am I going, Isle of the Mists?
Well, let's fast travel to this harbor. And then we'll go and we'll see what's what's going to happen when we get to this place that we're headed. Kind of considering where to where to call call this episode because I know we've been recording for over two hours and even if I cut the the thing to ribbons, it's probably still be two hours. I don't like episodes that long. I like streams that long, but not episodes that long. Hmm. I think we'll do the Isle of the Mists. Well, so much for this boat. I think we'll go to the Isle of the Mists, do the Isle of the Mists, and we will save... Yeah, we'll do the Isle of the Mists, and before we do the... Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll do the Isle of the Mists, and maybe... The depending of Kara Morhen. And we might chop it into two episodes after that. So let's go. that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. I'm glad the game is, is navigating this for me. As you saw, I am not a good navigator when it comes to boats in this game. Much like horses, or running, or any type of movement. Oh look, my boat magically repaired itself. It's by coming to the Isle of the Mists. Thank you, Wisp, for magically repairing my boat somehow when I came to the Isle. Go slow through these rocks. Oh great. Sirens. Look, you sirens. You don't attack me, I won't attack you.
Echidnas. Thanks for waiting, Firefly. Get my Quinn back up. Continue to follow the Firefly. Feel like I'm in the Whedonverse following the Firefly. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm looking for a young woman with action. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Oh, go away. Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. Diplomacy, Geralt. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. My mum's beard. Get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. How'd you find your way here? Like, I had to follow a firefly here. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey. You call a shipwreck conventional? Leave it be me. You know what he means. <laughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we was on route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain. He sold him a magic firefly purported to know the way to a hidden treasure. Yeah, what exactly do you want so that I can get in there? This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. If that's a demon, it will try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? I'll look for your lost friend. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. Ivo, Gaspard, and Ferenc. Where will I find Ivo? This Ivo. Where do I look? Edgar insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. And Gaspard? 
Gaspard, where will I find him? He said it was defeated. It will be to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he climbed the highest peak to look out for a ship. And Ferenc? Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's there. Handy. Thought I might fix it up. You can see one thing. Fine, I'll try and find your friends. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, let's uh let's look for Ivo in the cave first. Then we can go along here to Gaspard and here to Ferenc. horrible place to fight monsters. Especially flying them. I'm going to try and loot everything simply because um, you never know when I can get back here. I don't actually think I can get back here, so. something as well. Let's have an apple. your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I have one regret that... Oh, ah, ah! Dead.
He really was an idiot. Isn't that what they called him, an idiot? Lighthouse with loot. Assuming the dwarf's going to be at top, up top here. A fetlock in the arse. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. I'm looking for an ashen-haired young man. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But, ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. You and your friends, who are you exactly? You and your friends? What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. Ooh, Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Friends told me to find you. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then. The dwarf named Sleepy. I get it. Very cute. You know, we uh, could go down this way. Are you asleep up here? Come on. You's a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of.
coming, Gaspard? I'm going to find your friend, Fenrir. escort quest. Why did it have to be an escort quest? No, you don't. You ain't casting that blind thing. Time for another apple. Apple a day keeps the beans away, I guess. Now all we have to do is stop Gaspard from falling asleep. And keep him from getting eaten on the way. Wake up. I don't I don't want to go to school. Wake up. Come on. So what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm hmm Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. friend. I sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door. Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Robinick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. Why are you sorry? 
What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Oh no. Oh, Siri. Rilla, Ellen, Rihanna, and Fiona. And any other names I can give for you. You wake up right now, young lady. I mean, I came as fast as I could. There were side quests, I... Trying to get everything set up so I could defend you at Kara Moran, girl. You'd be dead. Oh, her spirit! They said her spirit left her body! The Firefly was her spirit! I was pretty sure they weren't going to say, okay, you failed the game, but... Whew. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. Bear more in. We lifted the curse. He's at Care Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why is he helping you? Why exactly is Avalach helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalach tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. Any idea what Eridan wants from you? What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. 
Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. Not for me, it isn't. How did your voyage start? How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. What was that world? The world where Eredin couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. People were called cyberpunks. They said the year was 2077. Yeah. It was an interesting place. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times... I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. Tell me everything, step by step. I need to know. I mean, I know it, most of it. We pieced it together, but... So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eredin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over. The end. Turned out Eredin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us. And Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach. Triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalarch opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. I know, I followed your tracks. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalarch's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know, he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound, unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. <laughs> Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. How'd you come along, Horson Jr.? So how'd you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage. One with extraordinary powers. Could have talked to your aunt with red hair. Me. It was as if his honor depended on it. 
He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Or he'd gone Julia. to the King of Baggers mm -hmm. instead of Orson. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. Junior cheated you in the end. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We'd just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. You did, and landed in Skellige. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then... Dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream, Siri? What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. That was the Baron's daughter. Had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Did you recognize it? Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. Mm. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. Sounds like Ethleen's prophecy is what she's dreaming about. I was afraid you were dead, baby. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you. But you were cold as ice, and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. We're on a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. <laughs> Harder for the hub to track. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. <laughs> oh, it's good to have Siri. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to. Siri, Care Morgan, now. Know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home.
And assuming I'm not immediately in another cutscene. Which I am. So we'll let it go. Whew. That is a gorgeous looking horse. Really well rendered. Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? Little sis. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Ladies, um... Hunt will be here soon. Time short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Trist, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Fine, a minute, then we go. Fine. So, a minute, then we go, all right? <sighs> this is just a little awkward. 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity. But for your candor. Time to go. Okay. I think you know the wild hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic thing. That is a really good place to stop for now. And when we come back, uh, we'll be streaming the rest of the escape. So until then, take care everybody. Peace. Cop out. <laughs>